Many of you are aware that on Khan Academy we have this neat scratch pad where you can write programs and you can visualize things, you can draw things, you can create animations. And what you might not be aware of is now you can actually, we've always had a, the possibility of spinning off programs, creating branches, save, doing a save as and building off of other people's work. But now you can actually discover the other spinoffs and you can actually vote for the other spinoffs. And so given that we have this functionality now, we thought it would be fun to launch a challenge to create games and simulations and scratch pads and programs that could help the learning in the rest of Khan Academy and see what the community can create. And so this is really to announce the first of these challenges and it's one associated with statistics. So you'll need a little bit of a statistics background to understand this. And you might want to look at the statistics playlist on Khan Academy for some of the background. There's a video here that gives an overview. But it's really to talk about the idea of a sample variance. And those of you who are familiar with the idea of sample variance talks about how do you, how, how do you compute a sample variance that best estimates a population variance. And there's a slightly unintuitive thing where you divide by n minus 1 as opposed to n, and we talk a lot more about it in this video. And so the goal of this challenge, and I just write the description right over here, you've got to write the code, is to create some type of, an, of, of, a, of a simulation or some type of visualization, maybe, going through, maybe taking, randomly generating some type of a population and then taking multiple samples of it, trying to estimate the true population variance by taking the sample variance and showing that when you divide by n minus one, it is an unbiased estimator, especially relative to dividing by n or maybe n minus two or anything else. And then to essentially enter into this challenge and have your code to be considered as the official or one of the official ways to visualize this concept, just save the spinoff and vote for other people's spinoffs, and then we'll be able to see what people create, and uh, hopefully we'll have a very, very, very cool simulation, or hopefully multiple really cool simulations to show people this idea of why, at least experimentally, an un the unbiased estimator is truly unbiased.